Okay, hey everybody. This is going to be, well, basically me giving how I feel about this whole, as you can tell from the description, this whole dad in Georgia leaving his toddler son in a hot car and it killing him. And I got some facts right here on my computer, so. Ross Harris. First off, let me say, you're a piece of garbage. And so is your wife, from what I'm seeing on the, uh, seeing in the, by this article, uh, from what I've been seeing on the news anyway. They live in Cobb County, Georgia. Ain't nothing wrong, or, in Cobb, ain't nothing wrong being in Cobb County. I, a, I think I got a friend that lives there, or two, maybe. I don't know. Okay. First off, these two, Ross Harrison and his wife, I don't know her name. They looked up hot car deaths. I don't know. This is a little fishy to me, you know. But that could be just that could be just a little uh, circumstance or coincidence, you know. Then something else that I saw. They took out a twenty thousand dollar life insurance policy on our kid. Ain't looking too good. Then, the father was sending naked pictures, or as they say today, sexting other women. So, well, I don't, that don't make him a cramp all, since one of them was a teenager, yeah, it kind of does, but that's kind of the least of his worries right now. I don't know. Accidentally sending some a young person naked photos, it's one thing. Killing your kid is way up here. Anyway, then the dad puts light bulbs in his car during business hours, which ain't nothing wrong with that, except for the kid was still in there. I'm sorry. Most kids I know would be making noise and stuff. Me thinks this guy is lying. Anyway, then the wife could sit, uh, makes herself look, well, let's just say, less than innocent. When the wife was caught, told by the uh, daycare people, you know, she, the, the, her son was not dropped off, the, uh, she said, oh, my husband must have left him in the car. Yeah, that is a really bad coincidence, or this was planned. I'm leaning toward planned. She said, the mom said she would not bring him back, would not bring him back if she could. I don't know. Y'all are looking more and more guilty. And then, after when, when they were both at the police station, after the two got arrested, she said, This really makes me think this was planned. She said, Did you say too much? And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, ding, 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 we have two guilty bastards. Which is just what I'm thinking. And then I also heard something that I should extremely agree with in this case. This could be a death penalty case. I say lock, I say hook them both up to the IV drip and let's get let it roll. Anyway, let me know what you've thought about this case. And well. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments down below. Hit me up on Facebook. If you, oh, by the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there. Or if you're on, uh, or if you're on the app, right over there. Anyway, oh yeah, it hit it right up right there. 
Anyway, please, because if you hadn't subscribed, why hadn't you? You know, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to email at lancemosstv at gmail.com. You know, I'll see y'all later. Bye.